Hello and welcome to the Mike Les Farmhand Mike YouTube channel, bringing you some of the biggest and best variety and definitely the most versatile farming content on social media today. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand Mike. When you're running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hey everyone, I am bringing you another exciting 2021 corn silage video. This one coming to you from Sterling Heights Dairy Farm near Sterling, Ohio. Sterling, Ohio is located in Wayne County in the northeast part of the state, not too far from Worcester and just west of Akron, Canton. In this video, I will show you the entire process as they chop their corn silage, haul it back to the farm, push and pack it on the silage pile for their dairy herd. This is my first YouTube video from Sterling Heights Dairy. These guys got a hold of me via Facebook Messenger and living in the same state, everything worked out perfect that I was able to get out here and catch all the action. Got lots of great drone shots and on the ground shots of the whole process as they bring in their 2021 corn crop for their herd. To start the video off, they are chopping their corn silage with their Kloss Jaguar 970 self-propelled forage harvester with a Kloss header on it. You're going to see three different tractors all pulling Weber Lane Super Tilt forage trailers, a Massey Ferguson 8690, a Massey Ferguson 7495, and a Fent 724. And also they're using their white Kenworth Semi pulling a dump trailer as well. This video is going to be a little bit longer video because I got so much action going on here. They're going to finish up this field here. They're going to go to another field, finish it up, and then they move to a field right beside the dairy barns. And you'll see that in the background later on in the video. And of course, I made several trips back and forth from the field and the silage pile. I was not familiar with these Weber Line Super Tilt forage trailers. I looked them up and it looks like the company is out of Listowel, Ontario, Canada and offers a full line of different types of trailers for agriculture, industrial, and so on. All I know is the farm says they really like them. We'll watch the chopper here for a little bit and then I'll move back to the silage pile, talk about the equipment that's there, and then I'll move back and forth throughout the video from the field to the farm. And back at the silage pile, they got three different tractors working here. They got a New Holland T9 600 tractor with LSW tires and a silage blade pushing. They also have a Fent 933 tractor with a silage blade. And then a Fent 939 just packing, has a weight on the front and a packer on the back. Some people have asked in some other YouTube videos about the pushing and packing here at the silage pile. It's a slow and steady process, but this is a very important step that the pile is properly packed. That's why you're going to see these tractors going back and forth just nice and slow, pushing that air out and just packing her real tight. When they get this all done, most farms will normally come in here and they will cover the silage pile, throw some tires over it for weight to keep it. The silage will ferment and ideally, most farms will not feed any of this corn silage till it ferments for at least 30 to 45 days. That's why most of your dairies will have some carryover from the year before to feed first. 
When I first started doing farming videos on YouTube, I just assumed everybody watching them was a farmer and knew what was going on, but I do like to explain things the best I can because I learned over the years here there's a lot of non-farm people watching my videos, people in other countries and so forth, or people that grew up on a different type of farm not around this, so I do my best to explain everything to help everybody understand. And of course I get the occasional comment telling me I don't know what I'm talking about, but maybe I don't, maybe I do. I've been around agriculture my whole life. I think I got a pretty good understanding and farming is definitely different as you go throughout the country or throughout the world. Different farming practices, people call certain things different things throughout the country and whatnot. So anyways, I'm bringing it to you as I know it. And as he pushes this silage up here a little farther with that fence, you'll see some of the silage there from last year, and there's how they cover it. So they're actually feeding off the other end right now till they get this done over here. These guys have been chopping corn for a while, so they're getting close to the end of corn silage harvest here, so things do get a little tight on the farm as that bunk and that silage gets out there towards the edge. I did get out to several different farms chopping corn silage this fall, so I will have a lot of corn silage videos coming to my channel amongst other farming videos, so you'll stay tuned for those. Shooting these videos is the easy part, it's the editing that takes time. But hey, I'll get them up here as soon as I can, but it's getting to be a busy time of the year, so I should have good content throughout the winter when nothing else is going on. I'll now turn this video over to the sound of the machines with a good mix of on the ground and aerial footage here in the field and back at the silage pile.
I said earlier there was going to be a white Kenworth semi and a dump trailer in this video, so here you go. Uh-oh, that's going to be good for the comment section.
Hey kids, look, a deer.
And sometimes when I'm out here filming these farm videos, things just have a way of working out and I got that drone shot with the farm in the background while they're chopping. That's going to do it for this corn silage video. Feel free to go down there and hit that like button and comment below. If you are new to my YouTube channel, please consider going down there and hitting that subscribe button and check back often. Always lots of new farming content coming to the Mike Less Farmhand Mike YouTube channel. If you want to see more of what I'm doing, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting my social media.